Okay, so here I am with one of our job servicing students, Mohammed. He's from Bangladesh, and we're going to be talking to him a little bit about his story, um, what he's currently doing. So maybe just to get started, Mohammed, you could tell us a little bit about your beginnings, how you learned about online business and your journey up until joining the job servicing blueprint. First of all, I would like to thank you very much for having me in this session. It, it is one of my great opportunity to talk with you directly, because previously I have only seen uh, in the course at the community where we all of are engaging. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, tell you about how I have started my career in online. Actually, when I was uh, in the school, I was like uh, playing games. Everyone's play games in the school, you know, so, because we don't have anything to do more in that time. So yeah. I was playing online games. Uh, it's called Clash of Clans. And uh, oh, yeah. I think you heard about the games. Uh, yeah. Whenever I was like uh, after playing five or few, uh, six months, uh, a lot of uh, my fellow team uh, classmates are coming to me and telling me if I can sell that game account directly to them. So <laughs> I have played three or four uh, account in that time and I have sold all of those things. So that's, that's how the idea actually comes out in my mind that uh, I can even uh, sell something more via online because uh, because the game is totally based on online. So <laughs> it's not like anyone can copy or crack something from me and try to resell my content or anything whatever i was doing right now so that's how the idea comes in my mind like how i can make money online and i was start researching in youtube google as you know uh, yeah. whatever people are doing whatever they got to know about online kind of things yeah so i was and as you were like, kind of googling yeah. around and searching around um what kind of business models were you interested in in the beginning i guess actually uh, when I was started, uh, I was in the school and I didn't had a lot of money in my pocket. So uh, uh, even uh, if I wanted to learn from any kind of mentor or coach like you, it was not possible for me. So I was trying to learn free kind of things from YouTube and a lot of times I fall into scam traps. You know, there is a lot of frauds, click and income or something like that. Uh, they are offering those kind of things. But whenever I got to understand that, I need a real kind of business. I need a real kind of things uh, in my life. So I started learning like uh, affiliate marketing. Uh, it was quite hot in that time. I think it is uh, still now it is. Affiliate marketing. Hot. Yeah, pretty popular. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I was started. I was uh, learning. I was started learning affiliate marketing. And uh, after that, I have uh, like converted to the dropshipping model. Actually, the main concept to getting into the dropshipping business is like having my own product because in affiliate uh, marketing, Marketing, you need to sell someone's sales product and sometimes they will stop offering that product even instead of pro providing customer support to the clients uh, so yeah. there is chargeback coming out and Not you may control. have all the commission wiped out from your account so that's yeah. how i was jump into the drop shipping uh, but you know that drop shipping is not quite as good you can sell like a paid product or anything from the aliexpress you can get it in a super low price you need to sell it in a low price as well so the profit margin is very low in there so the revenue or the effort i was making in that time to that business uh, it was not so successful so mm. that's why I tried to find any kind of like new brand or new strategy, new business model. If, if that available, I can like immediately switch out to that. In that time, luckily, I got to uh, got into you like YouTube YouTube advertising, like uh, where you have offered a free training about the drop servicing business model. I think it was like one of the great strategy for me. And uh, for the last two years, I have been doing this. You, you know that uh, as well. Whenever you are selling a drop shipping product, for the maximum, you can get like 40 or $50 profit margin out of it. Mm. But if you are selling a service directly to another business, you can get like as much, you can charge them as much as you want. So it could be 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. And I am making the same kind of effort. I am advertising and I am offering to another client. It's like the selling product and offering the customer support and everything is in my hand. 
so it is a life changing opportunity and a life changing uh, strategy for me and right now you know that i have three years and see in my hand those are quite successful i have also shared my like skin shot earning skin shot uh, and i wasn't so so much comfortable to share all those uh, like earning kind of things because as you know in my country perspective it is not so good to show uh, your earning to How others you're making you know? yeah but whenever i have seen that everyone is posted actually we have seen that every day someone is posting uh, that they are making this kind of money or they are getting this kind of sales so yeah. i was feeling so much motivated from those things whenever like i was start so i think that whenever if i share that my results to the others they can get the same from my yeah. uh, experience or from my uh, results i have shared like full, in whole 2021 standing in in that screenshot you may have seen that i never posted my first sale yeah, second sale yeah. <laughs> yes yeah, you don't post very often but it's it's also when people are posting the sales in our community because I, it really does inspire everyone else and it's interesting so you were saying that basically your profit margins with drop shipping were very very small compared to drop servicing but it was kind of like the same amount of work because you still had to do the marketing yes, it, the it's the service. same kind of work like uh, as you know for the drop service uh, drop shipping you need to advertise product pro- for the promotion and uh, you are doing all kind of like customer support order fulfillment on all those things so in drop servicing i have the teams like you have offer done for your team so it's like all the resources in the place just yeah. i need to offer or like promote that uh, kind of product just like i have do, i have done in the drop, drop shipping model so it is just like the same but the profit is like 100 times more than the drop shipping so that's why i really like that model and it was a life changing opportunity for me that you have uh, shared all those things in the course and i have really learned a lot from yeah. there and whenever we start out at the starting you have seen that i was asking a lot of questions about like yeah. charge payment processor in the group uh, yeah. and people are listening and answering all those questions everyone is like so much uh, like uh, friendly and responsible to helping uh, each other the community is worth more than the course price i think in my opinion yeah yeah okay yeah everybody says they think that the community is worth even more than the course price it comes up quite often i think it's very true because we have people in there that have been doing drop servicing for a long time making a lot and now even people like yourself today you're one of the veterans too after a couple of years Um and it's cool to see the transition of people going from beginner to advanced and then helping people for them and just cycling through like that too. Um but what was your kind of experience and process that you went through once you actually joined the course? What was that process like for you? Actually it was uh, like uh, whenever I was start, uh, I have joined the course uh, I have joined in a like payment plan because as I have told you that I was uh, from a uh, third world country uh, which is bangladesh and our income is not so big so we can't afford even if any if we want we can't have that uh, spending limit in our credit card to pay the course price at the same time so i i was needed to go uh, with the, like uh, your payment plan and whenever i joined the course i uh, I, i have seen that uh, whichever i never find any any of other courses like i have done a lot of courses till now uh but uh, your course is some kind of different for me because i have seen that in every week you ha- you have some kind of module locked in there like every module is unlocking in every week so, but there is a, another option which is the great thing uh, people like me who is uh, like, who would like to start faster and want to consume all the information in a faster which is 7 days actually so you have combined all those course information in those seven days accelerator and you have put all those information in there so that anyone who don't want to learn everything in depth who have some kind of online business experience they can start right away by watching that seven days accelerator videos they don't even need to go through all those like a kind of big lesson so that's what helped me a lot and i have started with that and i uh, chosen a name chose the domain and i started based on that but for some kind of module like advertising and a setup uh, with the website like what kind of service i can offer i need more help or more in depth review then i have seen that those modules are unlocking 
एंड इट हेल्प मी एन लॉट बिकॉज हॉन ए वार्ड यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग न्यू लाइक ए बिग बुक यू कैन रीड ऑल द बुक विद इन ए डे बट यू कैन कंज्यूम ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन बट हॉन ए वार्ड यू थिंक दैट यू नीड समथिंग and it is required right now and in that time if that modules unlock it means you can easily consume that information and also include that information include that work or expertise in your so that's how yeah. i was that, that's like immediately jump into the advertising module and like i started my advertising so my first clients uh, come through uh, from the advertising mm-hmm. so After primarily that, facebook advertising right Yes, yes, it's Facebook advertising. Another thing I would like to tell you that before that I wasn't so good in English. I can only understand videos, whatever people are saying, and what whatever they are meaning. But I can't mm-hmm. really speak speak out it uh, perfectly. Even right now, you can you can see that I am a, a bit weak in English. And in that time, it it was a Uh, issues for me because everyone is like handling clients and talking with the clients directly. But yeah. because of my issues, I wasn't be able to speak with the clients. And even if I want, I didn't had enough confidence in that time. So whatever I have does is taken knowledge from the from your advertising module and uh, implement those things uh, in in my work like. in my promotion of my services and instead of sending to the directly to my web page i have, i was sending them to the to my business whatsapp number so whenever they are messaging me i had enough time to think about the questions and answering them like based on your resources you have also showed us and give us every kind of objection whatever is coming from the client so i review all those ob- objections and mm-hmm. i had enough time to answer those objections by in right hand down so that's how like i overcome the situation and i got my first sales so one and a half months i got one my first sales okay yes, so yeah and, and the way that i understand it is that you basically started doing facebook ads and what service were you selling for your first service first service was animation videos animated videos animated, animated, videos. animated yes, videos, videos with facebook ads and the way that i understand it is very interesting because what you did is something that we weren't even covering in the course like you came up with this marketing strategy yourself essentially so you started actually running... you have already explained a lot more than this actually you have given us all those resources like whatever what kind of questions you are getting from the clients you have given us example of the sales call you have also showed us even live sales call with the client so i got all those knowledge from there and i was just converted them in text text based module ah. so <laughs> it's like i was converting your information in my format in a text based module because of my weakness in english speaking you essentially converted all of the sales calls kind of funnel into more of a conversational funnel and you were driving them from facebook ads to your whatsapp that's right yes yes uh, till now for the last 2 years i have been doing drops or drop drop servicing and i never took any kind of sales call from any clients <laughs> even the the one i encourage them to ch- chat with me so that i can explain them in a better way and also sometimes i told them that uh, i i need to uh, be prepared and i need to focus and audit they are or if they are whatever or service they are offering like i am making plan based on that and i was telling that them that i need some time to answer you in a brief or good way so that you can understand more than whatever i can speak yeah and t- talk to me a little bit about your transition because you went from selling animated videos to selling then web design and seo first of all i was uh, started like drop shipping you know about the drop shipping i think drop mm. shipping is like uh, uh, selling aliexpress or any kind of cheap products from china to the uh, higher tier one country so mm. whenever i was doing that i was uh, got to learn uh, some kind of new skills which is web design advertising search engine optimization product support product fulfillment all those things i was realized that i can offer whatever i know by myself which is web design so that's why i was start offering uh, web design as well to the clients who are purchased uh, animated video from me it's like i am getting the same clients and uh, it it it's it was a, like quite easier for me because you can sell to the same person couple of times because he or she trusts you so that's why i i started selling my web design services and i made a entire agency after that after a few months i made a entire agency based on that and 
I was quite more interested selling web design services instead of instead of animation because I was not quite familiar with the animation industry. But because of the results, I still I am running that kind of uh, that animated agency. And along with, I am currently offering web design and search engine optimization services with my two other agencies. Awesome. Yeah. So you're still using that same strategy of selling without any sales calls. Manage to add some additional services to sell to your clients and. It sounds like you've made a lot of progress, really. So, how much have you made so far in your drop servicing business? Actually, I, if I can tell you about the 2021 uh, one year, I was made like uh, over hundred thousand dollars in sales. Awesome. Uh, I have also shared uh, that screenshot, like in my from my PayPal and Stripe account in in the uh, drop servicing yeah. grouping community. I think you have seen that, uh, and yeah. a lot of a lot of. Uh, our fellow teammates are also congratulating me because yeah. I never had any kind of sales calls. But if you can tell me like uh, what uh, about the idea of my earning? It's over a hundred thousand in a year. Yeah, yeah. No, Without any sales. Now, most of your clients located in the United States or international? Yes, of course. Most of most of the clients are from the United. It's like. Ninety uh, percent of the clients are coming from the US, and others are from uh, like Israel, uh, UK, Canada. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think it's really cool that you jumped right into Facebook advertising as your as your primary marketing method as well. And I guess for you, uh, the next step you think is going to be building like a sales team to handle the calls for you in your business, or you want to start off by handling the calls yourself. Actually, whatever I would uh, I would like to do is like first of all, I would like to uh, directly convert do conversation with sales call by like taking sales call by myself i will be implementing a sales team for sure and i i have a plan for that as well like uh, i have talked and uh, interviewed a couple of person in our from our country locally and they are interested in taking out my sales call and helping me in that area but right now it's time to be uh, like getting into the next phase so that's why i learning english and have the plan to incorporating this that uh, sales strategy like sales call feature in a, in my every kind of essence awesome yeah. and also i have a plan like whatever you have explained in the drop servicing loop blueprint is automating things you have a lot of agencies running right now but you are giving us support in the group you have automa- already automated your entire business that is what I have in my mind right now so that I can enjoy my life as much as I can as I want. Awesome. Yeah, I really like that approach as well. Uh, and I guess the next question would be, you know, when it comes to the drop servicing blueprint itself, what do you think has been the most helpful aspect of that for you? Uh, first of all, there are uh, quite a few things which help me. First thing is the seven days accelerator. That is what helped me at the first phase. Second thing is not getting all the all whole books at the same time so you have enough time to consume the information and apply it to your business whenever it's unlocked like in every seven days another a, a, a new module is unlocked in in the course section so it means i get one week to practice and consume all those all those new things whichever i have learned from the course the life-changing theme or uh, thing was the community that community was uh, uh, more, more than the course prize, I think, because there is a lot of mastermind person uh, in that community like, uh, with you, and they are like uh, engaging all the students whenever they are facing any kind of issues. Like I have seen that people are facing issues with the uh, cold emailing, with the promotions, and sometimes they are having some kind of questions, like objections from the clients, and you are the person and. Uh, there is other person now uh, and also uh, answering those objections like how they can handle that kind of objections and get bigger sales or charge big from the client. So in my opinion, that is what is the most helpful thing I have got from the course. Awesome, man. And what would your biggest piece of advice be to somebody who's starting drop servicing today? Actually, whenever a person started for the first time, they have a lot of questions in like me. Whenever I was I started learning like how to make money online, I fall into a lot of traps, scam traps where fake gurus are saying that uh, they will make reach within a night. Everyone saying that they will help you, but whenever they get into the course, no one is helping them, 
and it's like some kind of video kind of module whichever they can easily view from the youtube and after that no support exists for them so in that case i think they need to be uh, like uh, research about i got to know about a tra- uh, trust pilot review like job servicing blueprint review and i have seen that there is like 287 kind of uh, like reviews out in there over 99% positive rating in your course so yeah they need they can easily research about yourself so and also talk uh, with some of your students uh, like you are uh, you are sharing uh, uh, all those kind of reviews publicly i have seen that whenever i was joining in the course you have shared a lot of reviews uh, publicly with the name so they can easily contact the students and ask their opinion directly so it yeah. was like one of the best thing i think for the, taking enough in, uh, inspiration from any kind of group so that they can understand the strategy works the module or whatever you are telling them it is working so at the starting they can give just two minutes to learn about you and they will be immediately join the course in my perspective after learning all those things about you, about the course yeah Yeah, yeah, very true, man. Awesome. Well, I think that really covers everything. You have a really interesting story. Your business is really interesting. It's really cool to see your progress over the years. Um, and yeah, you're really crushing it, man. So thanks so much for jumping on the interview with me today. Um, anyone watching, if you have questions for Muhammad, you can comment them below this video. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon.